This is your boy Jason, and uh, I hope everybody's days have been all right, stress free, and whatnot. Um, everything is pretty much normal with me as usual. Um, man, you know what? I don't even watch the news, but I just got through talking to this Korean lady, and she was telling me about how a boat sank recently. And she was, and I asked her, did she know the details? She didn't really know the details, but she was basically saying that, uh, like, um, a boat, it was like a boat with a bunch of passengers, and they were all like students of one grade. And then the boat house somehow sank. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe all the contents of the boat shifted to one side, boat slowly sank or something like that. So, yeah, just want to, uh, send a shout out to all those affected and hope nobody was uh man i just i feel bad for all those those kids and those students or whatever that are gone or whatever and i uh want to send out some positive energy to the families and stuff and man i'm just paranoid you know what i'm saying like first you hear about the airplane that just disappeared and like don't nobody nobody knows what happened to all those people nobody's know nothing and now you hear about a boat that sank so I'm like, it's, it's weird how just chunks of people just disappear out of nowhere. So anyway, I want to move away from the negative topics and uh, on to other things. Um, everything's pretty much average with me. I just purchased another vehicle. Hold up, I don't want y'all to be looking at people's plates and stuff. But yeah, I just purchased another vehicle. Relatively cheap. So I might snap a picture of that. Um, I might snap a picture of that for you guys or do like a video where you guys can see like how the, video, the vehicle looks because I got a real cheap, I got it for like 700 bucks, real cheap. But, and I think it needs a radiator or something like that. And it has some, some cosmetic damage. So I'm gonna have to like, uh, um, I'm gonna have to like get like some panels, like a hood and stuff like that and probably get the car painted. So it might take me a couple of grand to bring the car up to code and get it painted and upgraded and all that stuff. So when I'm done, probably 2700 for a real nice ass car. It's a 01 Chevy Impala. So that's another thing I do. Like if I want toys and stuff, like I see people, they want a new car or something like that. So they'll go out and straight up spend like thirty thousand to forty thousand dollars, even though they only make like twenty thousand a year. They buy a car that they gotta make payments on for you. Now I'm not saying it's wrong. You know what I'm saying? Do you? If it's something you want, you only live once, so you can't put a price on your happiness. So if you want to go out and get you like a BMW or a Lamborghini or something like that, and you ain't making enough money, by all means, if you think you can keep up with the payments and stuff like that, do it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying there's, there's a simpler way. You know what I'm saying? There's an easier way to get everything done. I wanted a second vehicle, so now I got one. And when I get done with it, it's going to look, it's going to be violent. Like it's going to be really nice looking and stuff, and it won't set me back. Uh, I, I wanted another car that wasn't going to cost me a lot of money in taxes and insurance. So the truck I'm driving now, the Harley Davidson, the insurance on it is like uh, $400 every six months. And the taxes on it is like $70 a year. So the other car I got, the Chevy Impala, is uh, 01. So I'm assuming that the taxes and insurance are going to be around the same price, if not cheaper. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's a car instead of a truck. So... As long as I can keep my margins down, I can get the little toys that I want here and there. I mean, I've been wanting a PlayStation 4, but I don't want to spend the money. But as you can see, like with Xbox and all other consoles, like the game packages are getting cheaper. I want a Diablo 3, but I heard it's coming out. It's going to be in better uh, quality, and it's going to have Reaper Souls and everything included as one whole game. So I'm like, shit. I, pl I downloaded the demo on... PlayStation 3, the PlayStation Network and stuff, and I've never played Diablo before, but when I played on PlayStation, it was it was looking pretty nice. It was fun, so I'm like, shit, I'm going to get that. You know, I'm interested in getting that. Infamous, Second uh, Son, um, Watch Dogs. I already got like a pre-order on Watch Dogs, even though I don't have a PlayStation 4 yet. And uh, I want Final Fantasy 15. That's pretty much all I want PlayStation 4, but right now I can't justify spending $400 on a console. I'll spend sixty dollars on the watchdog, so I'll have it already. But I can't justify spending that type of money yet. I have the money; I could go buy a PlayStation Four cash right now. But I can't justify uh, spending that type of money. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if you guys, if you go out and spend four hundred dollars on a system, you better have four thousand dollars in the bank. You feel what I'm saying? 
So the only reason why I went and bought that car because it was just a good ass deal. That car drives real nice, the suspension, everything, the engine. You can't even hear the car when you turn the car on. Uh, the transmission, everything's good on the car. It's just it got cosmetic problems. So I'm like, and the cosmetic problems won't cost much to fix. So I'm like, how can I lose? You know what I'm saying? You can't just come buy a car every every now and then. You can't come across no car that's seven hundred dollars that's worth anything that's gonna drive or anything uh, unless you have to pour a lot of money. And even on this car, uh, another grand to put a rebuilt engine in, and but six or seven hundred dollars to put a transmission. In. So even if those go bad, I can still it still won't cost much money to get it fixed. You know what I'm saying? Even I even saw rims. On Craigslist, people saying selling full sets of rims for like two and three hundred dollars on Craigslist, tires and everything. So I'm like, you get you a nice cheap car, you can soup it up. There go an Impala right there, that black one. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's got rims on the little sunroof. It looks pretty nice. It's, that's the same Impala I got, but mine's a silver. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's pretty much what I've been up to. Uh, right now, I'm I'm headed home. I just left a doctor's appointment. They basically checked me out and did like some exams on me and stuff so I'll, I'm not going to know anything until I don't know a couple of weeks from now I did find out my weight which is embarrassing so I'm like damn I need to work on my weight much, way more than I thought I, <laughs> I was going to have to but uh, yeah that's pretty much it man uh, there's nothing else been going on with me my brother uh, he started he, he does animation he does uh, artwork and stuff but he recently just sold some of his artwork so he's trying to get into that I've actually thought about getting into that because I'm all right with the uh, illustrations, but I have to be looking at what I'm drawing. Um, my brother, on the other hand, can draw anything off the top of his head. If he's thinking about something, he can bring it to paper. He doesn't have to be looking at anything. And I'm like, man, that's a huge, amazing talent. You could be making so much money off it. So go for it. You know what I'm saying? Don't st don't wait. Don't second guess yourself. Cause I mean. I, man, I can leave the house today, tomorrow, or, you know, and get in a car accident, and that's it. So I might as well seize every opportunity, you know, that comes my way. And I feel like my brother should do the same thing. He's so talented. You know, he don't really have to go to school or anything like that. All he got to do is, you know, set up a website or auction and stuff off on eBay and stuff like that. And as, you know, your popularity grows, you can demand more or you, and you can do more custom jobs so you can expand to other areas. You know what I'm saying? You be doing something you love. You know what I'm saying? It's something you really like to do that you're good at doing. So I don't really know what I'm good at doing. Uh, to be honest, I've been a laborer all my life and just working. Um, I'm all right at drawing. I can do some repairs and stuff on cars. I can rebuild computers and repair computers and stuff like that. Some people think uh, those are amazing attributes to have, but to me, I'm like, it's normal to have that type of stuff like that stuff you're supposed to know so I'm like I don't really feel like there's anything that I'm, I really excel at you know what I'm saying but um I don't know but I don't want to drag this video out so I just wanted to make, do like a little vlog to bring you guys up to date on what's been going on in my life or whatever I've really been appreciating the feedback I've been getting from you guys on my uh, channel um, you guys, it, it blows my mind. I be talking to some of y'all about stuff in my videos and y'all leave comments and send me messages telling me that you've been through the same thing or you have somebody in your family or you're married to or you have a sister, a brother, or a child that's in a similar situation. I'm like, man, this stuff makes me feel so good knowing I'm not going through it alone and also it gives me a perspective. Like People give me different perspectives on stuff on ways I can take care of my issues you know what I'm saying so if I'm having problems like I can't grow my tree or something and uh, my tree died or something when I plant the new one I got more information or like with my disability you know what I'm saying or like if I'm having problems with my trucks and stuff like that you guys give me good feedback and that's why I like this YouTube community you guys really uh I guess we all kind of help each other evolve a little bit you know what I'm saying if that makes any sense I don't know if you guys can hear me I'm on the highway some of y'all call it a freeway it still freaks me out when people say freeway it's like because i'm from st louis so i always say highway everybody else says highway and like when i go to other places they say freeway and i'm like what the hell's a freeway or like when i go to chicago everybody says pop instead of soda and when people say pop i it, it kind of catch me off guard like what the hell is pop you know what i'm saying but anyway so yeah that's pretty